Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. We are back in the Quest 3 today. I've got a lot to talk about, uh, particularly in terms of the improvements and how I feel about the headset. It's changed quite considerably since my first impressions video. You know, since then the software has changed and absolutely we've got some very nice accessories now. It's quite funny really because I feel many YouTubers did their VR accessories video for the Quest 3 far too early. You know, the thing was only out for a few days and apparently we've got the best VR accessories already. That's not how things work, you know, and it's, I've taken a long time to get to this point, trying out different accessories from different manufacturers. And in this video, I'm going to give you my personal favorite VR accessories for the Quest 3 in 2023, as well as my impressions uh, in my updated thoughts on the headset. Now let's start with one of the most important things I feel you should get for any VR headset, and that is lens inserts. You know, if you're not a glasses wearer, I say this all the time, I know, but you know, I don't wear glasses, but I have lens inserts for all of my VR headsets simply because I don't want to scratch the lenses. However, if you do wear glasses, well, you're even more susceptible to scratching those lenses with your frames. And you know, of all the parts of your VR headset, those lenses are probably the most expensive. And in the Quest 3's case, they are the best optics I've ever experienced. That includes the top end Vario's and Pimaxes of the world as well. Pretty incredible. So you want to protect them. And in the past, I have recommended many different lens inserts. However, I have been listening to some of your feedback, particularly with VR Rock and how their customer service hasn't been very good. So I've ditched them as a sponsor and I'm really glad to say that VR Wave are back on board. And I've got a very nice 5% discount code off all of their lens inserts. At the moment, of course, this is a Quest 3 video, I'm testing their new lens inserts in this headset and they feel really good. They have blue light filters which help combat motor sickness and insomnia. And honestly, of all the things to buy for your Quest, get lens inserts, folks, because you do not want to scratch those lenses. And if you do wear glasses, well, you can dial in your prescription even if you have an astigmatism. So the link for VR Wave will be in the description below. And it's great to have them back on board again. So for the next segment of this video, we're going to talk about comfort, which has been the Achilles heel of the Quest 3. I don't know what Meta were thinking when they shipped this headset with the most god-awful interface, that's the facial interface I've ever experienced. It's so harsh on your skin, as well as that soft strap. It just, it was, I couldn't last any more than about 15, 20 minutes before my face really hurt. And that's someone who uses a Pimax Crystal and 8K Hex. That's right, folks. I actually found the MetaQuest 3 one of the most uncomfortable headsets I've ever worn. And I did moan about it quite a lot uh, when it was first released. So to mitigate this, I've got two essential accessories now. The first one is the AMVR facial interface and um, foam replacement cover. I'll just show you some of the unboxing now and what it looks like. Now, A and VR are really carving a name for themselves in the VR industry simply because, well, when I tried their Pico 4 facial interface, I was so impressed with it. And now that I've got the Quest 3 version, this has really, I'm not joking, changed the game for comfort. It just feels so nice on the skin and it's, it's really comfortable um, for hours and hours on end. I mean, at the moment, I'm really enjoying Assassin's Creed. Um, and the other day I did a three hour session with this facial interface and I had no what we call VR face afterwards, no marks at all. So highly recommend AMVR. Now since I've just mentioned AMVR, I would also highly recommend, especially if like me you enjoy standalone games like Assassin's Creed and uh, Arizona Sunshine, all the sort of really cool games that are coming out check out their new grips they are so much cheaper than the official ones from meta in fact i wouldn't recommend any official meta 3 accessory especially as they're having build quality problems at the moment their battery head strap is breaking and all kinds of issues but yeah i'll just show you some shots here of the grips there are two different variations and that is the um simple grip which basically replaces your battery holder 
you can install it in a matter of seconds. That is quite cool, but I personally prefer the um, protective grips. As you can see here, they go right over the controller. You have a very nice battery tray. It just protects those really nice controls because the Quest 3 quite simply has the best controllers that I've come across. And if you're going to be flinging them around and things, which I already have, I've basically bashed my lamp in my living room when I'm trying to climb a ladder in Assassin's Creed. I've bashed them on all kinds of things and they're still looking brand new thanks to these rubber sort of protective grips. So in terms of battery head straps, well, this is another contentious issue with the Quest 3. Because the battery life in this headset is actually pretty bad. Let's be honest, that XR2 Gen 2 chipset is very thirsty. So you're definitely going to need one. I've tried a few now, including the official Elite strap, which I sent back, didn't like that, got a refund. I've also got the Bobo M3 um, head strap, which is pretty decent, but it's not my favorite, simply because I don't like how it buzzes on the back of the head, and those magnetic batteries don't seem to last very long before you have to swap them out. Now, with the Orbica head strap, which I will show you on the channel, in fact, I already have, I've got a full review of that um, head strap, but it's worth mentioning again, simply because it lasts for absolutely ages and it's really comfortable. I really like it. And it's 8,000 milliamp, which is absolutely crazy. I also like how it has a indicator on the back of the head strap. And you know, I had one with my previous Quest 2 for many, many years. In fact, I had it as soon as I could get my hands on it and it's been super reliable. I also personally feel it's very comfortable. Although again, that's gonna be down to your head shape and what you prefer from a VR headset. You know, the Bobo M3 is more Halo designed, which some people prefer, but for me, I like this sort of more cap style uh, design. And I can wear this thing for absolute hours, especially paired with the AMVR facial interface as well. It's superb. So for the final accessory, I personally really like the Orbic at Cybercore charging station. However, I do feel it's quite expensive, but as you can see, it is very bespoke and certainly turns a few heads, especially when uh, I've had friends around. They seem to gravitate towards it, especially with the Quest 3 uh, attached to it as well. I just think it looks really cool and sets it off, especially with the LED lighting. There is multiple USB ports as well, um, so you could charge your phone, let alone the Quest 3 itself, and I do I think, I believe, there is magnetic charging available as well, which again is a very nice touch. Now, of course, with the actual Orbica head strap, then it makes it even easier to charge. And the whole thing just sets off the Quest 3 really well. Now, I know it's quite showy and it is expensive, but it just makes you feel like the headset is a more premium product. And all these things together really create a fantastic headset there's no doubt about it since my first impressions video i have to admit i absolutely love the quest 3 despite some of its downfalls i do feel it has screen door effect i can see it right now because well you know i am very picky with image quality in vr and i have you know i'm used to the best of the best but you know it's not a deal breaker it's not that bad um there is a little bit of mirror as well, but that's no worse than some other headsets I've used. Overall, the image quality, the pancake lenses are absolutely superb. It's great to hear from people with 30 series graphics cards who are having an absolute blast with this headset as well. That is pretty amazing. So it's not just for the higher end 40 series cards. However, if you do have a 4090, you can super sample this thing. I mean, I'm using 4K per eye with the OpenXR toolkit at the moment, and it just looks superb. But I do feel it's those really important accessories that make this headset superb. And it's great to finally have my personal favorite VR accessories now locked in for this headset. It's made it really, really good. And at this point, I can fully recommend the Quest 3, especially with those accessories I've mentioned. Admittedly, it's gonna drive the price up quite substantially. And if you are using 
you know, a VR headset specifically for PC VR, I still feel you might be better off just saving a bit more money and getting a Vi Aero, especially now it's very cheap, or perhaps the Pimax Crystal, which is expensive, but it is the best of the best at the moment, or even the big screen beyond. But for a, you know, a headset that covers all grounds, high-end PC VR, incredible standalone, and everything in between, including some mixed reality, it is a superb device, it really is. So please let me know in the comments what are your favourite accessories for the Quest 3. Those are my personal ones and that is having used many different types of products. And keep in mind I have had so many parcels be delivered to my house from different manufacturers and brands. These are my top choices and I feel right now AMVR and Orbica are really really showing how it's done. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what 2024 brings for this headset, but uh, you know, wow, it's really, really impressed me now. And when Meta, when you think about their engineering team and how they're updating this headset in terms of the software, the VDXR support from Virtual Desktop, I think this has a very bright future ahead of it. Anyway, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Um, I've got some other things to show on the channel that I can't talk about. They will be coming soon. But for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.